Hi, good morning. Feliz Dia de los Muertos. It is Friday, November 1st. And I have a bit of a confession to make. My name is Anna. I am a mother of two. I am also a creative. So therefore I call myself an artist. I do create art. <laughs> Um, I freak myself out sometimes with the art that I create because I'm like, what? You're that good. Um, I went to art school, but I did not go to art school for art. Once I got to art school, um, I had a loud imposter syndrome and other people's um, opinion about my art, about myself, inform me, about me. It took me a long time to get back. You know, that whole midlife crisis and all. Mine started around 38. It's still going on, by the way. <laughs> Because it just kind of coincided with perimenopause. That's such a long story. Anywho, if you're new, we do what we want on this channel. And by we, I mean I and all the voices in my head. And if you've been here for a while, the idea now is to kind of, oh my God, if I don't say it, she'll live in my head forever. Shanice is calling it Mowage. 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 We're entering into the what the hell is going on phase. And I'm trying to bring pieces of me together with other pieces of me so that I can give a clear picture of who I am. Because the truth about it is I named my company, my website, my screen names, my profile. Everything is from Anna because the other day somebody actually asked me, what's your name? And I said, from Anna. <laughs> um, it's, it's such an identity now to be behind from Anna because it is legitimately me. I named it that because I wanted my audience to understand that everything I share comes from the same place or same, same places. Okay, so there's this concept that ideas don't belong to anybody. They don't belong to anybody. They're just a floating around. I see them like jellyfish floating in the ethos. Ideas, big and small, some more luminous than others, and they're just floating in the ethos. And when they touch you, it's that spark, right? It's that energy, that jolt, that need to make it now. And so often I had put that feeling off for later. And then I got into, well, let me write it down and make a list and I'll come back to it later. And then I would sit and watch other people create those ideas and so the concept is that the ideas don't belong to anybody. They're floating out in the ethos and they just really want to be created. That's their purpose. The idea wants to be made. So if you don't make it, if it touches you, it sparks you and you don't act on it, it's going to get tired and it's going to go to the next person and the next person and the next person until it gets made. The irony is that 
or the karma is that you will end up seeing your idea somewhere else and go, how many times have you had that? I thought of that first. I should have made that. I can make that. So I had this idea once where it was, I saw an idea and I was like, I had that idea and then I sat on it and then I saw somebody else do something else and then I was like, I could do that. Why are they getting that recognition for that? I could do that too. And so I sat with those feelings once, a long time ago, it's been, it's been years now. And um, I sat with those feelings and I was like, what do these feelings mean? Before I knew about the concept, about the jellyfish. And uh, I just did it. It's like, what happens if I have an idea and I just freaking act on it? You know, it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm not, rec I'm not, you know, trying to create a wheel. Um, doodle it out, draw it out, paint it out, whatever, however it needs to be made, just do it. So I made some stuff and it went well. And I was like, oh my God. So from then on, because it went well, and because the feelings of satisfaction of having completed something are so much better than the ones of seeing something done later by somebody else got, uh, I could have done that. I could do it better. Or why didn't I do it? I stopped doing all that. And instead, I just... <sighs> That's not how I actually breathe. But I let go of the resentment, of the jealousy, of the anger, of the, of the, of the, of the, of the, of the, of the. And every time I got stung by the jellyfish, boom, just put it down on paper. Boom, just put it out on what a canvas. Boom, just do it, just do it, just do it. I became a spokesperson. Hydrate, drink tea, drink water, whatever you have to do. Um, so that mentality of just do it combined with the motto, all of the things, all of the time. That's just how I do it. Now, does art and creativity come to me all the time? No. I have blocks just like everybody else. I have intense moments of um, self-questioning. Am I doing the right style? Am I doing valuable things? Um, the question is if I like it, the answer is yes. And the other answer above all is who cares? Life is too short to not just do the thing, all right? So I do the things, I do all the things, I share all the things, and then sometimes I just don't go back to them because I feel satisfied having done it. The idea either wasn't for me or I feel accomplished in it or I just don't, simply, I'm done. But I don't share that with you guys. So I start a playlist, I start... <laughs> Um, a collection of things because I love collections um, but then there's no seemingly there's no follow through right and so here we are we gathered here today Mowage <sighs> I happen to be an introvert and you wouldn't get that from these chatty videos from the voiceovers, but I am. I enjoy creating silence. I enjoy creating in my own space. I enjoy my things. Um, 
and I don't like people touching my things. Uh, I've never been tested, but I'm 100% sure. Completely. Science sealed, delivered. Neurologically spicy. We know this about me. All right. For years, I had been self-diagnosed OCD. And on and on and on and on and on it's gotten. Because things just... The language with which we express ourselves and are able to diagnose things now is vast. And so now things that were just weird or quirky in us actually have definitions and medical terminology. <laughs> so not so cuckoo kachu, not so crazy, not so unstable just spicy colorful is the way i've always um expressed it you know my life is very colorful uh lots of stuff going on so enough about me how about you what you up to how you doing <laughs> um I just wanted to hang out and have this little me to me, me to you, me to the universe, have a conversation. <sighs> Let you guys in on a few, yeah, stories. If you like what I do, please make sure you are subscribed and that you check into the community um leave me comments because i love those like really really love those um and uh yeah cheers to a new month cheers to new ideas i cannot believe it's november and we have two months left in this year and then we're off to all the New Year stuff. Um, whoops, we're going down. We're going down, Houston. All right, guys. I will talk to you very soon.